This PC build, I honestly cannot wait to put together. It's liquid cooled, all matte black, ITX of course in the Streetcom DA6. I personally think it's gonna turn out unreal. Some of these parts as well, I have never used. So that should be interesting as well. And this will actually be the PC powering my upcoming racing simulator too. So generally a lot of stuff happening in the background right now, but uh, yeah, let's uh, just get this thing up and running and take a look at the parts. And I mean, we have to start with the Streetcom DA6, which I honestly think is a super underrated case. It's not really a case, if we're being honest with ourselves, it's more of like an open frame that you put your hardware on. But yeah, Streetcom are very well known for making very premium feeling and well-built cases, and the DA6 is no exception. For those that remember, I have actually built in this case before. I did an air-cooled version in the Chrome version, which is what this looks like. Having them both in front of me right now, I do think the matte black version does look good. It has more of like a powder-coated finish. And for a sim racing PC, that kind of automotive aesthetic that I'm going for, I think this is pretty much perfect. Chrome does look good though. It just can get a little bit scratched up the more you kind of work with the case. The black one also pairs perfectly with the tubing that we're using here, which is the matte black tubing from Corsair. 14 millimeter and yeah it's not like an exact one-to-one -to, -one to the you know black powder coat on the da6 but man it is really really close and i cannot wait to see what this looks like this build is going to be pretty high end not brutally overkill but definitely right up there you know racing games they do target some pretty high frame rates and they are quite cpu intensive so here we've actually gone with the ryzen 7950x 3d my first choice here would have been the 7800x 3d i mean you're basically getting the same performance at a lower price point so why not the thing is though i actually have two 7950x 3ds uh one of them is a review sample and the other one i bought and just have have not used in a build yet so yeah we might as well put this to some good use and for the gpu we're going with the rtx 4080 tough oc from asus now they did send this out to me for this build which i just want to make really clear we're going to be putting a water block on this thing it doesn't make sense to go for something like a strix or anything like that and you know the tough model is one of those cards where you'll find a lot of water blocks on the market for and you have a bunch of options to choose from speaking of which i picked up the xg7 from corsair which yeah this is my first time using corsair's water cooling component so it should be quite interesting. I also think the block looks really, really good. It's gonna pair nicely with the Streetcom DA6. And really interestingly, the thermal pads are pre-applied, which EK could definitely take some pointers here. Now there are a bunch of other bits and pieces, of course, but let's go ahead and start putting this thing together.
Alright, so this turned out actually pretty good. Uh, genuinely, I am surprised at how nice the matte black aesthetic just blends in with everything, from the frame of the PC case, to the matte black tubing, to the fittings, even the 3D printed parts, which we'll get to in a minute. Everything just kind of seamlessly blends together, and I absolutely love this look. Thankfully, I only had to make three tubes for the entire build, and yeah, some of the bends are kind of unconventional, but still looks really tidy in my opinion. Now, after I installed the power supply and plugged in all of the cables, uh, I had some instant regret because, you know, you look up here, everything is super clean. You put all of this effort into these super complex tubing runs as well. And then you look down here and it is just a complete mess. So I made these, they're really simple 3D printed panels, which basically just clip in between the tubes like this and they hide all of the cable mess. And so now you're only left to look at the really appealing and really clean parts of the build. It did take me a whole extra day to 3D print these, but I'm really glad I did because it really takes the build up to a whole new level. I definitely don't wanna be looking at those cables. And yeah, I've gotta say it kind of looks like it was made to fit with the case. Now, when it comes to the temperatures, I didn't really know what to expect because on one hand, it's a completely open case, like the temperatures won't build up and saturate like a normal PC. But on the other hand, uh, I've only used a slim 280 mil radiator and the clearance against the GPU is like next to nothing. Luckily though, the temperatures are actually absolutely fine. After 30 minutes of F123 at 4K resolution, I was seeing the RTX 4080 around 55 degrees and that's with the fans at a pretty quiet 1300 RPM. So yeah, even if we did see some games push the 4080 to you know 320 watts or so i think we'd still be you know maybe at 60 degrees max and that is more than fine so yeah really happy with how this turned out uh, i'm planning on pairing this with a sim racing rig as i mentioned and you know setting that up with a super ultra wide monitor that's going to be just below 4k in terms of the amount of pixels so yeah 4080 for that this will have no problem driving that at all and staying nice and cool at the same time 